Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Grade 11 Functions class. This is a mini lesson on 5.2, the special trig triangles. So we're going to start with a isosceles right triangle, and we end up with angles of 45 degrees and 45 degrees up here as well, because all of the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So now we have this angle. We also want to know what the sides are. We're going to set this side to be 1, just because it's a nice simple number. And because these sides are equal, this one is also going to be 1. This one is going to be across from the 90 degrees, which makes it the hypotenuse. So it is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared this by Pythagorean theorem. So it is root 2. If you look at this 45 degrees, you can see that its opposite is 1 and its adjacent is also 1, and of course the hypotenuse that we already discovered is root 2. So we're going to use this information to find the primary trig ratios. So sine 45 degrees using our SOCA TOA. We know that sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. The opposite is 1 and the hypotenuse is root 2. So it's 1 over root 2. We do need to rationalize the bottom here, so we need to multiply by root 2 over root 2 which gives us root 2 over 2 as sine 45 degrees. Cos 45 degrees is really similar. It's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's 1 over root 2, and when we rationalize it, it ends up being root 2 over 2 as well. Tan 45 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which is 1 over 1, or in other words, 1. We simplify it down. We can also do the reciprocal trig ratios. So we're going to start with cosec. Cosec of 45 degrees is equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite, so root 2 over 1, which simplifies to be root 2. Sec 45 degrees is equal to the uh, hypotenuse over the adjacent, so again root 2 over 1, which ends up being root 2 as well. And finally, we're going to find cotangent of 45 degrees, which is the adjacent over the opposite, which is 1 over 1 simplifies to be 1. So that's how you find the trig ratios for 45 degrees. Let's do 30, 60, 90. So we start with an equilateral triangle. If this is an equilateral triangle, which is indicated by these lines here, that means that all these angles are going to be 60 degrees. So I'll write that in, 60 degrees. And then we're going to drop the parallel, uh, sorry, the perpendicular from that vertex down to the base. If this is the perpendicular, then that means that this is a 90 degree, and if we add these up to be 180, this should be 30 degrees. Another thing that we need to do is we're going to set the side lengths. I'm going to make them all 2, so each of these side lengths is going to be 2. When I drop the perpendicular, because it is an equilateral, that splits the space in half, so this length is going to be 1. Because this is 2, and this is 1, and this is the hypotenuse, I know that this is going to be by Pythagorean theorem, this length is going to be the square root of 2 squared minus 1 squared, which is root 3. So now I have a nice triangle here. I can just highlight it a little bit for you in purple. You can see that I have this triangle where this hypotenuse is 2, this leg is 1, and this leg right here is root 3. So we can use this to find the trigonometric ratios for 30 and also for 60, depending on which perspective we're looking from. We're going to start with the 30. So from this 30, we can see that the opposite is 1 and that the adjacent is root 3. And the hypotenuse is always 2 since it's across from the right, from the right angle. So let's write in our trigonometric ratios. Sine 30 is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 1 over 2. Cos 30 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. And tan 30 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, or 1 over root 3, which ends up being root 3 over 3 when we rationalize. Then we're going to do the reciprocal trig ratios. So cosec 30 degrees is equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite, 2 over 1, which ends up being just 2. Um, sec 30 degrees is hypotenuse over the adjacent, 2 over root 3, which if we uh, rationalize ends up being 2 root 3 over 3. And cotan of 30 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the opposite, 
or in other words, root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. Okay, so now we're going to go from the other perspective, so let's erase the opposite and the adjacent. Of course, the hypotenuse stays as it is, because the hypotenuse is what it is, no matter what angle we're looking at it from. Um, so now from this perspective, from the 60, if you look across, root 3 is the opposite, and 1 is the adjacent. So you can see that when we do our trigonometric ratios, we get sine of 60 degrees is equal to root 3 over 2. So cos of 60 degrees is equal to 1 half. Tan of 60 degrees is equal to root 3. And then cosec of 60 degrees is equal to 2 root 3 over 3. Sec of 60 degrees is equal to 2. And tan, cotan of 60 degrees is equal to root 3 over 3. So we're just using, again, our definitions, SOHCAHTOA, and then flipping them over to get our reciprocal trig ratios. Um, and so that is about it. One of the things that you might want to note is that the sine of 30 is the same as the cos of 60. That's just because our opposite and our adjacent are flipping. And for the same reason, cos of 30 is equal to sine 60. And then you can also see that um, sec 30 is equal to cosec of 60, and cosec of 30 is the same as sec 60. And that's, again, just because we're flipping the opposite and the adjacent. So, hope you enjoyed it. You can ask any questions you have in class, and I will see you soon.